Sodium is the 11th element on the periodic table. It is right below lithium, and if you remember back to my lithium video, lithium is very reactive, and it will react with even just water to liberate hydrogen gas. It will also react more strongly with an acid such as hydrochloric acid, which I used in my video. So, in my lithium video, I didn't really talk about why it reacts with water, why it reacts with the acid, and here I'm going to talk more about that. It all has to do with what's known as electronegativity and electropositivity. Electronegativity is a measure of how much an atom wants more electrons. And for elements on the far left column of the periodic table, such as lithium and sodium, that number is extremely low because they in fact want to give away electrons. Because they have one ex electron over their octet shell. So they've got one electron in a new shell and the electron shell below that is full with eight electrons which is what they want. So if they give away that electron then that other shell becomes their valence shell and then they have eight electrons in their valence shell which is what they want. So, uh, oh and by the way I want to point out to you that I'm using the word want for these uh, metals. They want to give away an electron which is personifying elements, which I generally don't believe in. And you should know that when someone's explaining you something in science and they suddenly start personifying whatever they're talking about, most likely the reason is because they don't really understand why. So I'm just going to personify this and you'll understand that no one, no one really understands why there's this phenomenon of this octet. But there is, and the electrons uh, excuse me, and the atoms want to have it full with eight electrons. Um, there are, there are exception, few exceptions, but most, mostly they want eight electrons. So the bigger the atom, the farther out the electrons, the easier it is to give away. So as you go down the periodic table, the electronegativities go down. And as you go to the left, the electronegativities go down. So here is sodium, which is in the same column as lithium. So it's pretty, you know, they're pretty similar reactivities, pretty similar electric positivities and negativities. However, sodium is going to be slightly more electropositive, slightly less electronegative than lithium because it, it's, it's a bigger atom. It's further down on the periodic table. And what this means in practice is that if you put it into water, it not only will just generate hydrogen gas by displacing one of the hydrogens, but it, it'll usually create enough heat to actually ignite the hydrogen that it creates. So I'm going to try, try this out. I've, uh, I have some sodium metal here. And I'm going to show you the clip from my lithium video of me putting lithium in water. And then I'm going to show you the clip, and then I'm going to show you me putting sodium in water. Go. So I'm up. Sodium metal. Here we go. Come on, ignite the hydrogen. Okay, so it's not a big enough lump to ignite the hydrogen. It's just skating around on the surface. And as you can see, it's now molten because it's got a melting point that's only 98 degrees Celsius. Nice. Okay. So let's discuss what happened in this reaction. What happened with the sodium and with the lithium before is that the metal has a lower electronegativity than hydrogen. So it can actually displace a hydrogen in the water molecule. start with H2O and then you get sodium coming in liberating one hydrogen atom and then you get sodium hydroxide Na for sodium OH which is the hydroxide. Let's cut some sodium metal a large lump 
And it, what's nice about sodium, you can cut it with a knife pretty easy. And they're real shiny sodium metal. Okay, so here's our nice metal. You can see it's already tarnished. So let's go throw this in some water. Sodium. So here I've got, I'm going to burn some lithium, and the lithium, as you probably know from my lithium video, I get the lithium from this uh, battery, this kind of battery, lithium metal, right there, here we go, lithium foil, it's already tarnishing super fast in the air, and there we go, now I'm going to light it on fire. Propane torch lit, lithium metal. Nice. Okay, one thing what's cool about sodium metal is that it's really bendable and malleable. You can see I'm Twisting it up, it's all twisted. Just thought I'd show you that property of sodium. So I'm going to again light some on fire, just like the lithium, and we can do a comparison. It's not so much going to be a um, size comparison because they are different sides of the flame comparison. I'm using less sodium than lithium, and it's a whole chunk. So we're more comparing the color of the flame. Sodium. So you see it's not quite as violent because it's not a big lump, but it's still burning pretty nicely. Okay.